What's up, fam? Like I said before, you know that universal life force, cosmic energy that these generate, you know, the negative ions and all that, that cheap prana penetrates time and space. So you can get the same effect of just looking at it as if you were being around it. So yeah astral projection so when I was in college about uh, a year ago I uh, was laying in my bed and I had sleep paralysis and what happened was is uh, I was laying in my bed and I wasn't tired and I just remember the whole time my dad telling me his, his voice resonated in my head like if you're not tired don't force sleep not tired, don't force sleep. And still, I was like, man, it is nothing to do. I don't really got like any homework. I probably do, but I just don't feel like doing it. It's like a Friday night or something, and I'm just, just bored as hell. So I was just laying in my bed. It was like probably like past midnight, but I wasn't tired. So I was just like, damn, it's midnight. I should go to sleep. So I just forced myself to go to sleep. And I think I left like uh see it's crazy because it had to be when I was when I had sleep paralysis when I had you know what I'm saying came to I can't remember if the room was completely dark or if there was a little if my little night light was on my little lamp was on because there was some type of light I think but let me just get into it it makes sense what I'm talking about so I was laying in my bed and then boom, I wake up, my eyes are open and I can't move my body, I'm, I had sleep paralysis. And side note, all sleep paralysis is, don't trust nobody telling you, well, you can believe what you want and manifest what you want. I'm not saying these people aren't seeing these things, they probably are, because you are very powerful, your mind is very powerful, you can produce what you choose to. You know, they want to talk about the shadow man, the demon sitting on your chest, that's bullshit to me. I don't get scared of that type of shit. I don't choose to let those realities into my reality. So, but I will say, uh, when I came to, I couldn't move or whatever. I didn't see anything, but it kind of did seem like there was somebody, a presence in the corner observing me. It felt like there was something perceiving me, another energy. It didn't feel negative or positive or anything like that so it was just i felt like i wasn't alone so yeah uh, i'm sitting there and i'm stuck and the crazy thing is is so in my room it's it's dark you know what i'm saying i'm just gonna attribute the astral projection to the light or whatever so i open my eyes and i can it's just dark as hell, so I start freaking out. I'm like, oh, I'm awake, but I can't move, and it's dark. And by that time, I was the only one in the room. I didn't have a roommate. He moved out, and I was just completely alone in my apartment. And I'm like, damn, this would happen when there's nobody, no help or nothing. Or no, I think my roommate was in the other room, but I couldn't even scream. I was so, so paralyzed. I was like, <laughs> I'm trying to scream. I couldn't. That's all I could get out was those little... And so I was like, yeah, this is sleep paralysis. I just got to relax. And then the whole time, though, I'm using all my energy to try and get up because I know that my real light to my bedroom, if I literally just sit up and reach my hand out as far as I can, I can turn on the light. So I just focused on that. I'm like, oh, shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm scared. Let me turn this light on. So the whole time I'm trying to reach and I can't do it. I cannot move. So I'd finally decide to just relax and just all right, go back to sleep. And as soon as I feel like I fall back asleep or whatever, everything gets bright as hell in my room when I fall back asleep. You know, pretty much that sleep was just me giving up on trying to get up because I'm stuck in sleep paralysis. So I just relax and I doze back off. But I, everything would just get bright as hell and I finally could raise up. I raised up and hit the light and everything just got brighter. And I'm like, oh, cool, cool. And it was just like extremely bright. Like 
it was the bright you see when if you run if anybody was in sports or anything like that and you do a hard ass workout you run goddamn five six seven two hundreds and then you just got that headache migraine and everything is just bright as fuck when you just look and you're like oh my god i can't it was that type of bright when i hit the light and i'm like oh god thank you you know what i'm saying and then of course i was calm by then when i hit the light so i would just fall back asleep and then I would wake up and look, and everything is fucking black. I'm like, what? I just turned the light on. How's everything pitch black? I'm back to square one. And that happened like three or four times. I kept going in that loop. Ah, uh, turn on this light, but I'm stuck. All right, relax. Boom, my, my astral body is the one that I was actually sitting up, turning on that light each time, and the room getting hella bright, and I can literally see it, and I'm thinking I am in my physical body that's the only reason I know I actually projected because this shit felt extremely real and it calmed me down because I actually thought I turned on the light so I'm like okay cool I'm Gucci lights on huh fall back asleep then I wake up in real time and it's just black as hell and I'm like oh my god I'm stuck in a loop like this is crazy I'm actually projecting I realize it but this shit's not bomb like and so yeah that happened I got stuck in like a loop it just kept, I just kept doing that at least like, I did it like three or four times until I finally just stopped and then I woke up for real in the in the morning and yeah, I was like scared so I was like, oh damn. I woke up and I was like, I was astral projecting. Like that's crazy, my astral body actually got up and, and finally moved, you know what I'm saying? And most times where I do astral project, it's by accident. To be completely honest with you, most out-of-body experiences just happen, you know, when you're not thinking about it. You can try and practice and stuff. That's good. You know, it will happen when you start practicing and, and you can start, you know, doing it willingly. But until you get there, most times it's just going to be uh, just random sometimes. So, yeah, that's my little astral projection story. Uh Yeah, sorry, I'm a little distracted. It's a dead armadillo over there. I just feel bad for a little dude. You know what I'm saying? He passed away. R.I.P. to your buddy. That's, uh, I don't want to ruin the vibe or nothing, but yeah. R.I.P., bro. Love y'all. Stay happy, stay healthy.